Hey guys, and welcome to 13 Nights of Fright. I'm not exactly sure what night we are on because I am filming out of order and I literally just thought about this idea today. So I said, you know what? We're gonna sneak in this video in here. Now if you guys are new, this is my fifth annual 13 Nights of Fright Halloween mini series. The first three years I did do 13 consecutive nights, uh, but last year and this year we're not doing that because it's a little bit overwhelming for me. Although this year I feel like I may end up having more videos than last year. We are here to talk about some cheesy, some corny, horror movies. You know them, you love them, you hate them, you despise them, yet somehow, we enjoy to watch them and don't you like to me because you know you've seen these maybe not all of them but you know you've seen some of them and you know deep down deep deep down somewhere in the pit of your stomach in the back of your mind somewhere you know you enjoy these just a little bit maybe i don't know we do have 13 movies but of course because 13 nights of fry we got to keep it into the 13 just like for christmas is 25 movies and valentine's day is 14 we doing 13 here so we're not gonna like chit chat too much about each movie i'm gonna assume you guys know most of you know what these movies are about just because honestly the majority of these are older movies i may say a couple things here and there but i'm gonna try to keep it really short now i don't think i have any repeats and by that i mean just movies that i mentioned last year or that i've mentioned in my previous my previous video um just because you know we want to keep it fresh and not just keep repeating but if i do have a repeat i do apologize i don't think i do i feel like one may be a repeat Oh, and there's a fly. I think, oh, that's perfect. It's spooky. It's a spooky fly, y'all. Oh, maybe I should put that one. <sighs> Hold on, because that just made me, gave me, gave me an idea on a freaking movie. Oh, yeah, we're going to put that on here. <clears throat> what year did that come out? Because, you yeah, know, I'm terrible with years. 2006. So, what movie in 2006 came out that that fly reminded me of? So, we're going to go ahead and start off with the newest movie that actually came out this year. I think I saw it on Hulu, if I'm, if I'm, right i think that's where i watched it at and it's honestly the movie that sparked this idea because when it finished i was just like oh wow that's that wasn't really good but somehow i have been thinking about it all day they were words that were said in that movie that i was just like why are you acting like it's the 2000s um anywho this movie is called sting and this is about a spider if you're scared of spiders this would be the perfect deal for you because there's one big ass spider it's like an alien spider and it eats people yeah there was a little dog and i was like oh my god don't eat the dog it ate the cat but we're dog people but either way because i was still sad about the cat and then it took a baby i said can we have the dog back again no particular order honestly as they kind of came to my mind oh I, we'll go ahead and go to the one that that stupid little fly reminded me of okay <laughs> This is such a terrible movie, y'all. When I watched it, I said, what the hell is this? But when I tell you this movie lives room free in my head, like so much, like me and my sister out of nowhere, we bust out with, I am a mother bug! And that's gonna be 2006 bug. Okay, it's it's not good, but somehow it remains in my head. But we're gonna move on. All right, so this is gonna be a 2007 movie, and this is a movie that you're probably gonna be like, well, it's not really cheesy or it's not really corny but it kind of is it kind of is it's more like a campy movie that's what it is and we're gonna add the campy movies into this into this category as well i feel like i feel like it goes you might disagree but that's okay because this is my video and i can do what i want but it's gonna be planet terror it's a town that they have some sort of chemical situation happen and then people start going into zombies not going they start converting into zombies right like the town we have rose mcgowan this is the movie if you haven't seen it this is where rose mcgowan has a gun yeah it's kind of cool yeah she just has a shotgun not a shotgun i don't know what kind of gun it is it's a gun <laughs> on her leg and she'd be like bah, 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 and i say yes bitch so we're gonna move on and we're gonna go to spiders we're gonna stick to spiders for a little bit i think i have two more one 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 more spider movie after this okay the other one is very beloved i feel like it's a beloved it's a more like a classic but we're gonna go to 2002 and we're gonna go to you eight legged freaks um and you get a, a very young scarlett johansson here and they are some big ass spiders and they're terrorized in a small little town you know what a lot of these movies showcase showcase not showcase tell me about spiders they like small towns or indoor apartments. Like, I don't, have I seen a spider movie in a city? Probably not. You know why? Because it's gonna get squashed. 
So we're gonna move on to the 90s. Wait, we are we were in the 90s. We're going to the late, no, we weren't. We were in 2002. <laughs> we're gonna go to the 90s. 1990 to be exact. And this is one little movie that's also in a small town called Aragnophobia. And we are following a little spider who was in Venezuela and then murdered a photographer. I think it was a photographer. I'm gonna defend the spider though, okay? Because he said, I am done with this Venezuelan life. I am done with this hot jungle. I want to go to California, Calabunga dudes. And then what happens when it gets to California? Little does it know it is not gonna be going to the beach. It's going to a small town. Yes, indeed. It goes to a small town and then it wreaks chaos there. But I will say because of this movie is, is why every time that I like, I'm, I'm outside or whenever I'm putting on my shoes my shoes are outside or if I'm getting some like work boots from from the garage I'm always like tap 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 make sure that damn spider ain't in there because ain't gonna get me no sir unless you like a radioactive spider that's gonna turn me into spider woman we're gonna move on to 2001 and when I tell you this movie was so scary for me back in the day like this was really one of my scarier ones there's gonna be 13 ghosts I feel like it's still pretty creepy I saw it not that long ago and I was still scared that damn jackal <sighs> she's scary okay but like there's stuff about it that hasn't aged very well you know if I recall correctly that might not belong on this list but it does because I'm not gonna lie I think I needed like four other movies and so I was like oh let me see some cheesy horror movies and 13 ghosts was on there and I was a little bit shocked I said really I said okay then I'm gonna put you down just kind of like when I put Gotham for that other list. I thought I heard somebody screaming. I don't hear nothing. No, you hear nothing, you say nothing, and that's how you stay alive. Once again, if you missed my last video, before you come at me, Stephanie, you say you don't like scary movies. Stephanie, you talk out of your ass, because look at you doing a Halloween series, and you talk about scary movies. You a lie. You a like to me no I'm not lying I really don't um I'm not a scary movie person but I doesn't it doesn't mean that I don't ever watch them <laughs> again look at my list look at my list prior most of the movies that I've seen are older movies okay <laughs> because those are movies that I can see now because they're mostly not as scary also a lot of these movies I also saw when I was little because I, I have two older sisters and we had a blockbuster night they would pick a movie I would pick a movie and guess what those bitches would pick a lot they would pick scary movies and you know what they would do they would make me sit there and watch the scary movie i was forced we're gonna move further back in time we're gonna go even more cheese okay we're gonna go to some little furry alien creatures it's gonna be 1986 it's like little balls <laughs> it's critters so you want aliens Here's your alien. There's a lot of parts. I don't know how many parts there are. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio does come on on one of them. Which one does he come on? I think it's part three. We're with aliens, so let's stick with aliens. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna go back to the 90s. We're going 1996, and we're gonna go to Mars Attacks. Yeah, I freaking love this movie. It's so good. I did review this movie for my 13 Nights of Fright at one point, so I'll link it up here if you want to hear my overall thoughts about that. So it is a fairly new movie for me, but I have really really enjoyed it it's like another like little campy thing and we're going way way back way 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 back 1958 i think this is an alien movie <laughs> like alien adjacent it's part alien it's not this world what else is it yeah because it came and it came and then crashed landed on earth okay you're like what is it oh it's just a chicle it's, it's a chicle it's, this is the blob Yes, I have the blob on here, okay? Have I seen this movie lately? No, I don't remember when the last time I watched it. I honestly don't remember when the, the, a lot of these. I haven't seen them in a long, long time. But I still remember the feelings I had for it. But I remember when I used to watch the blob, I was scared. I was scared of that chicle. I said, yeah, I'll from that chicle. I mean, I didn't say that at that time. But like now that I think about it, I'm like, oh, that's a big ass piece of chicle. It's super cheese. It's top tier cheese. You're literally seeing this blob, a blob of gum and it's coming at you and it's gonna absorb you. We're gonna go back to the animals. Okay, we're going to 2006. We talked about some little furry balls, right? We talked about some spiders. Okay, now let's talk about some sheep. Black sheep. 
to be exact, is the name of this movie. It is a movie that takes place in New Zealand, I believe it is. And this man has like some biochemical experiment. I don't know. There's some sheep here that go batshit crazy. Ba 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 right into your skin. Ba 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 ba. ba. Okay, I don't know why I went to the minions. Um, yeah, these sheep are gonna eat you. Ah, 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 ah. They cray. They go that damn bug again. We'll fly. I am the mother bug! So we're going back to the 90s, alright? And we're going to 1992. And this is probably my favorite. This is the one that I do actually rewatch. And this is one that I was looking at my list from my last videos. And I don't remember putting... I don't remember seeing it on there. Also, I could have just like put my like blinders on that saying don't see it don't see it because you want to talk about it again and this is one of my favorites i love it this is death becomes her and we have bruce willis Meryl streep coldy hall it's so funny it's so good they, they die but then they take a potion well they take a potion before they die because that's how they're able to come back to life so they can live forever but they fall apart and the and then bruce willis you know works on dead people like he you know he's like a funeral person I don't know what they're called. A, a mor mortician? Not this morticia. A morgue person. He works at the morgue. He works with the dead bodies. He will be the one that makes you beautiful at the end of time. Then we're gonna go off and we're gonna go to the cabins. And you're like, oh my god, cabin in the woods. You're wrong because I have not seen that movie. But we're gonna go to some different cabins, okay? It's gonna be 2002. This is Cabin Fever. Let me tell you what scene lives rent free in my head okay because i just want to smack that bitch i said if you don't stop make sure my feet aren't there does not look like they are you gotta pay for some feet fit photos <laughs> like bitch if you don't stop shit with your fucking leg when you see your damn skin falling off what the fuck is wrong with you yeah they're in the cabins in the woods somewhere it's a group of friends so this is why i don't go camping Somebody's always trying to kill you in the woods, in the cabins. Oh, you don't know. Um, they drink some tainted water and uh, they get, they get something. But before we do get to the final movie on this list, if you haven't already, please give this video a like, comment, share, subscribe. Go ahead and let me know some of your favorite cheesy, corny horror movies. Now, once again, this was in no particular order, so don't take it as this is the number one or whatever. It's it's just no particular order, okay? I just kind of went through it, and as you can tell, I went all kind of different ways on my list. We are gonna be talking about Evil Dead, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just start out, put, show the poster for the 1981 movie, just cause you know, we're gonna just start off at the beginning. So yeah, like I said, Cappy, it's corny, it's cheesy. I personally prefer the TV show. There's demons, they're in the woods. What I say? What I say about the woods, okay? You don't go to the woods. You don't go camping if you haven't guessed already. I am not an outdoors person. And I know you're like, but it's a cabin. But you're in the woods. In the woods equal outdoors. Yeah, that's gonna be it for me tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye! <laughs>